All right, what's up guys? Ivan from Brainbus.com and today I want to talk about seven segment displays and what I mean by that is these guys right here if you remember if you've been following a couple of my tutorials I have done like a countdown timer with this guy uh, another one with this guy and these are modules that are already pre-made if you flip them over they have the chip to actually control all these digits now that's pretty cool very easy to use very easy to connect uh, the problem is you're stuck with what you got so there's eight here you can't remove one or move them move them around uh, this one's the same it has, it has the two dots in the middle uh, this one could be used as a clock but if you only need one digit well you can't really use these guys so these are great if they fit directly in your project but if they don't then you can use these guys and as you can see these guys are available in different size this one is one digit as you can see this one is two this one has four uh, but if you flip them over there's nothing there there's only a bunch of pins there's no uh, chip to control anything so you have to build your own now if you have a project in mind that requires one digit or two or four or up like this in this position then that's your way to go now to control these guys with an arduino the best not the best, but the one I use a lot is the Mac 7219, as you can see here. Uh, this is a LED driver chip. Uh, this is found in modules like these. And also, if you remember this guy, these matrices, it's used in that as well. Now, what I'm going to do today is show you how to do a simple scoreboard. Let me move this here, like this. Now, as you can see, I got two two-digit seven-segment display. I got the Mac 7219 here, and I got two switches here that when I click, this will increase these two right there. Uh, this is very, this is not complicated. It's just, it requires a bunch of wires. Now in the next video, I'm going to try to do my first PC board using my CNC machine that I talked about maybe a month or two ago. And uh, I thought of a project and this would, could be used for that. So I'm going to make a PC board that's going to fit the chip and these two guys or something like that so you guys stay tuned for my uh, failure or uh if it's gonna work i don't know so we'll see uh so there you go guys that's what we're gonna do today so now we're gonna go look at the code and see how i program uh the arduino to actually communicate with the max 7219 and then we'll be back and we'll test it out so let's go check that out all right so before we look at the code let's look at the seven segment display and how they work uh, the one I'm going to use in this tutorial has two digits, as you can see here, one and two. And it has five pins at the top and five pins at the bottom. Now, if you look closely, most of the pins are connected to a particular segment. So let's say pin one corresponds to the segment C, which is this segment here. But also this segment here on the other side. Now, let's say I want to light up just this C segment on this digit. Then that's where you see the D1 and D2 right here. D1 corresponds to the right digit and D2 corresponds to the left digit. So if I want to light up only that segment, I would give power to D2 and ground this, uh, the number one pin and that segment would light up. So basically that's how it works. Now, if you look at the max 7219, uh, if you look at the description of each pin, it's very easy to connect these guys. So let's say you want to connect this uh, two digit um, seven segment display to a max uh, then you look at each pin so one corresponds to segment C and if you find segment C here it's right there and then you would just connect a wire from pin 20 on the max 7219 to pin 1 on that display and so on and so on until you get to D1 and D2 so let's say you I have two in this tutorial one on the left one on the right each have two digit so let's say I decide for my purposes, the one on the left is the first display. So D1 and D2 would become digit zero, as you can see here, pin two on the 7219, and pin 11, digit one. Uh, so D1 would be connected to digit zero, pin two, and D2 would be connected to pin 11. Now on the second one on the right, I still have a D1 and D2, but now I'm up to Digit 2, which is pin 6, would be connected to that D1. And digit 3 would be connected to pin 7. Now, since I have two, the way you connect more than one together is that you just jump from the first display. Let's say I take uh, the pin 1, which is C. I jump another wire from that to that second display. And so on and so on for each segment. 
but I do not jump, of course, the D1 and D2 because those are directly connected to the Mac 7219. So that's the way it works. And uh, if you want more information, check out my website at brainingbest.com. I have the diagram and uh, more information on this. So now let's go check out the code. All right, so now let's have a quick look at the code. At the beginning, I'm including the LED control library. Uh, that's the library we're going to use to communicate with the Mac 7219 chip to actually display stuff on the seven uh, segment displays. Uh, then we initialize it with which pin it is connected to the Uno. Um, also, we have some variables here to hold the score, to uh, convert the, the whole digit. Let's say we go over 10, that would be two digits. So to convert that 10 into two uh, separate digits, one and zero, we're going to hold those values in these variables here. Uh, then with uh, the switches to change the score, what are they, which pin are they connected to? And then we have the main setup. So switch one and two are using the input pull-ups uh, for debouncing the switch. Uh, then we wake up the 7219. We set the brightness to medium. Uh, we clear all the seven segment displays to make sure nothing is uh, currently displayed. And then we put zeros on each one. Uh, so the way this works, think of this as this part here is the left module that has two digit. And this one is the right module. And the way it works is which max chip we only have one, so it's chip zero. Uh, which digit, this corresponds to the pins that we just saw, D, uh, DIG zero, DIG one, two, and three, and what we want to display as a value, so zero. Uh, the false, if you put that true, then that will light up the decimal point on uh, these display. So at the beginning, we put all zeros. Uh, then we get to the main loop, so we check if a switch is clicked. If one is clicked, then we increase the score. Right, it starts at zero, so we increase it by one. And then we split that number into separate digits so we can write to the seven segment display left or right digit. Uh, and then we put that value on the display. Uh, here, there's a while loop. So let's say I click the switch and I don't release it right away. It's gonna keep, it's gonna wait until I release it. And this is kind of a way to debounce a switch. So when I release the switch, it's gonna get out of that while loop and continue on. And we do the same thing for switch two. Uh, so there you go, guys, that's the code. So now I'm gonna upload it to the Uno and let's go back and see it in action. All right, so we're ready to go. I already uploaded the code to the Uno right here. Um, there's a lot of connections here, like I said. I could zoom in with the camera, but that wouldn't help much. Uh, I'm just gonna put the diagram of the connections on the screen right now. And I always remind you guys, if you wanna replicate uh, my, any of my tutorials that I do on YouTube, check out my website at brainybits.com and you'll find web pages and like this diagram and also the code used and any library. So if you want more information, I invite you guys to check that out. All right, so now we're ready to go. You see the switches here, one, two. This one will control this guy and this one will control this guy. So let me plug it in. There we go. There we go, we got zero, zero. Let me shut off the light. Now you can see better. Uh, so the score is at zero at the beginning. So I'm gonna grab this limit switch and click once and get one here. I'm gonna take the other one, click, and there we go. Now I'm gonna click and hold. You see it doesn't go up. Now it's in the while loop that we talked about. When I release, it gets out and it waits for another thing. Now I'm gonna try to go fast. So you see it's not skipping, it's getting all the clicks. Maybe I can go faster. There we go. So as you can see guys, that's the way it works. Um, the Mac 7219 can control up to eight digits. So I could put two more of these guys, or I could do one of these and one of these. And I would still have place, well, actually one of these. That would give me eight digits. Or I could do two and one like that. And that's it. Since we're using modules like this, you can basically do whatever, whatever you want and the uh, configuration that you want, position them in a different way, which you can't do with pre-made modules. Don't get me wrong, these are cool, these work well, but if you're doing special projects, these might not fit your project. But there you go, guys, that's the way it works. So now we're gonna go back to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so that'll do it for today, guys. Hopefully you found this video interesting and helpful. Uh, like I always say, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, thumbs up and all that stuff. And uh, don't forget to check out my website. Also, if you want more information and get the diagram and uh, code used. 
Uh, so that's it. So until next time, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.